Hey everybody, this is uh, George Mossman, a language arts teacher, and um, I just wanted to give you guys a little quick lesson today on the um, Freytag model, F-R-E-Y-T-A-G model. Um, it's basically um, the outline or form of a story, and um, basically it gives you the information and the tools you need to be able to get through and understand any story um, on a plot level so you can understand it on um, a deeper level, on like a thematic level or talking about motifs and things like that. So basically we're all familiar with a, a basic story. You can think about um, a, maybe a book, a childhood book that you read, one that I think of as Ferdinand the Bull. Um, and basically that's a story about a bull who's different than most bulls because he likes to stay there and sp smell the flowers all day. Um, his main conflict is internal, that he's different. One thing that you're going to find when you're thinking about a story and the plot, which is what happens in a story, that the plot is propelled by a conflict. And the conflict usually centers around one main character, um, and it can be internal or external. So when you look at a Freytag model, it's basically like an opened up um, triangle, and it kind of looks like a heartbeat. Um, like if you looked at an EKG, it's it's kind of shaped like this, if I can do this. There's a flat line, which is the exposition, and then the rising action to a, to a high point, which is the climax. Then it drops down, which is the falling action, and then it goes flat again to the end, or the conclusion, also named, known as the denouement. Um, and what propels this whole plot structure is conflict. And during the exposition, which is the flat line of the triangle, uh, the flat line of the heartbeat of the story, there's usually an inciting incident where a conflict is started, whether it's internal, within a character, or external, which is forces acting upon a character. Okay? Then you go from, and then part of the beginning of a story is called the exposition, and in the exposition is the inciting incident, which starts the conflict, which propels the plot. Um, but Exposition is just like expository writing, exposing, providing information, backstory about characters, setting, um, and things like that. So it's really important when you're reading the beginning of a story to understand where it's set, when it takes place, um, who the characters are, and how they relate to each other. Then once you have the inciting incident, which usually centers around a protagonist or the main character, then the plot starts to rise, and it's called rising action. And there are events that, that, that pile up and stack up and create conflict and pressure within the story that then reach a climax, which is like the highest point, the most intense point in the story. Mm -hmm. Then once you reach that, reach that climax, mm -hmm. the plot starts to settle down and... and and resolve and move towards an end and that's called the falling action and then once the story ends the end of the story is called the denouement which is French for um, I think it's tying of loose ends I'm not sure I have to look that up again um, but uh, denouement is the end of action so that's the last thing that happens in the story and is the resolution of the story in the conflict so um, that's the Freytag model the plot summary what you will be working on today is you'll be actually reading, we'll be reading a story together called The Flowers uh, by Alice Walker, a famous African-American writer. Um, and we will plot that story out. Um, and the other thing that we're going to have you do is pick a um, children's story that you loved. Um, Dr. Seuss doesn't work for this usually. He doesn't. He has a very um, loose plot structure. Um, and we <laughs> will um, plot out our favorite kid's story. And then what we'll do with this information is we'll start reading more complicated and difficult stories. Um, and then you'll be able to understand what the plot is. And once you understand what the plot is, then we can talk about theme. We'll also use the Freytag model to design our own personal narratives um, this semester. So that's what's going to be coming up, and that's what we're going to be working on. Um, feel free to email me if you have any questions. George M at bvschools.org. And um, have a great day.